Well, the owner of an iconic Hollywood recording studio says a number of homeless encampments is threatening the business that's been in his family for more than six decades. The owner has taken to installing planters on the sidewalk to block people from sleeping and setting up tents. KKL News political reporter Tom Waite live in Hollywood now where he spoke with that owner today. Tom? And good evening to you, Pat. As you can imagine, this is raising some eyebrows here in the neighborhood. You can see the planters here. They're next to me, and you can probably see the lines of planters just behind me here on the street. This is what the business owner is telling us, basically. He's saying, essentially, he had to put these planters out because he was left with no other choice. A showdown at this homeless encampment in Hollywood. The owner of the storied recording studio at the corner had planters installed to break up and limit the encampment in front of his business. This is one of the worst uh, environmental challenges that we've been through here. Paul Camerata is the owner of Sunset Sound here at Sunset and Cherokee, which was launched by his father in 1960. He's worried now about its future. This is a third world country around the corner here. It's, it's terrible. The encampment started growing around the time of the pandemic. Camerata says he was fed up over the lack of action from the city. So after the last street cleaning, he had planter boxes installed with cactuses to block the homeless encampment from growing. As soon as it, they cleaned up, we brought in like 12 of them. That wasn't enough. So then it remained clean for a few more days. So luckily we got a, another like 12 or whatever it was. but. The proliferation around the corner had already occurred, so we couldn't put any further planter boxes there. Camerata says he wants to see the homeless here get help and housing, but he says rampant drug use, crime, and even a fire that recently burned the front of his studio make him, his clients, and his staff feel unsafe. They've stolen speakers, blank checks. The front of the building has caught fire now twice. They were completely down the whole block, all the way to the end. I mean, they were blocking our entrance. The area is represented by L.A. City Councilman Hugo Soto Martinez. His office says he was unavailable for an interview, but a spokesperson told us the encampment is on their radar. Soto Martinez's office acknowledged Camerata's frustration, but says there's little that can be done until sustainable housing comes online. The spokesperson also told us Camerata does not have permits for the planters and they will likely be removed. I mean, nobody else is doing anything. What am I supposed to do? So, to Martinez's office says, again, the bottom line is they don't have the beds right now to help the people in this encampment. But when they do have those beds available, they'll do more outreach here. They say in a, an encampment that is not too far from this space, they did they were able to get people placed in housing because of the mayor's inside safe program. Those beds came online. They got the outreach and the help. But again, right now, those beds just aren't there. Reporting live in Hollywood, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL News.